Hello everyone, you're welcome back to the news. Thank you all for tuning in to listen. What we have here said, discharge female soldier sexual assault. Allegation must be probed thoroughly. Armed group and forces support group. Mm -hmm. So you guys can recall, I shared a video of this girl when she was saying her own part of the story. Initially from the story, she came out, she said she was assaulted by an officer, Abdul Karim. And later the army came out and said she was discharged based on mental issues. So I now do the video when she came out to say in AIT that she was not discharged. She said it was the Minister of Women Affairs who advised her to resign, that she on her own resigned. So I was like, what is really the mystery behind this? How can she say that she was assaulted? The army said they discharged her because she was mentally unstable and she come and say no, say she, now she resigned herself. And I mean, then they talk something else. I'm now I'm bringing updates concerning that. So hello everyone, you're welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you all for tuning in to listen. And if you're just joining us for the very first time, hello, you are also welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also help us to share our videos for Nigerians to know what is actually happening. And also for YouTube to help us to recommend it. Thank you very much. So the hashtag prayer and support for Nigerian armed forces and other security agencies group has called for a thorough investigation to be conducted into the allegation of the sexual violence against the former so against the former female soldier, Private Ruth Ogunleye, by some senior military personnel. So in the group in a statement released on Monday, sent to Sahara reporters, urged the Nigerians to exercise patience and restrain until the matter is investigated and laid to rest. Yes, Nigerians really want to know. The matter needs to be investigated. So this statement was signed by the convener, Ambassador Mary Abayomi. PSNA FSA said the hashtag, the hashtag prayer and support for Nigerian armed forces and other security agencies urgently call on all Nigerians to exercise restraint in passing judgment on sensitive situations. This appeal is necessitated by the recent allegation by the former private soldier, Ruth Ogunleye, who accused the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Taored Lagbaja, of inappropriate conduct. We strongly urge the public to avoid hasty condemnation and allow for thorough investigation to be conducted. Let's join hand in promoting fairness and justice for all. Sahara reporters had two days ago also reported that an advocacy group, Youth Rights Campaign, called on President Bola Metinubu to set up an independent panel to investigate allegations of sexual violence against private roots by some senior military personnel. Root, who was relieved from the service, after accusing a senior officer, Colonel I.B. Abdul Karim, of sexual harassment, had told the Nigerian Army authorities to publish the outcome of its investigation into the matter. But in a statement made available to Sahara reporters on Sunday, Youth Rights Campaign has said it as worrisome that a serious allegation of sexual violence against Nigerian female soldier was yet to get attention by the president and the commander-in-chief of army forces of Nigeria, despite its repeated promises to work towards ending gender-based violence and increase learning opportunities for girls in safe and favorable environments. So, and I really like this, that people are really coming out to speak. Nigerians want to know, everybody wants to know. They want to know what's really happened, what really transpired. They won't really know if now root now will be the person where they mentally unstable or if the army then not then do am true true. So let's just take a few comments. They said serve Nigerian and come back in shame. I read her story and marveled how the national army stink. That is really, really bad. Nigeria just introduced her to you. <laughs> if I were if I were you, I would take everything with calmness because there is nothing you can do except taking your petition to God Almighty, because all these people, not them, them. Because all of them have soiled their hand in one way or the other, and nobody will want to expose anybody, because somehow, somehow, it will get back to them. Okay, someone else dropped this. She said she was cheated and robbed with integrity hands. She was said to be mentally imbalanced. 
Was her mental fitness not tested before she was recruited? If it wasn't, then Nigerian army is incompetent. And this would define the type of people in the Nigerian army. This is commendable one. Some funny dupe posted a video of her dancing. And I'm like, what is wrong if she's dancing? Does it change the fact that she was sexually assaulted? We must clean the system, else it will be your loved ones tomorrow. And that is really true. Some persons are mocking her. Some said really she's mad. But just like what the group have said, Nigerians really need to hold on. Let them do the investigation and get the real fat. Because the truth really needs to come out. It will help a great deal. I still believe that tomorrow some other girls won't become police, they won't become army, they won't become a navy or whatever. So the truth really needs to come out in order to help these girls to prepare themselves. If now waiting they really they happen, number one, they will try a way to push the system. There is no way they will push the system completely. Such things then fifty they happen. But any girl will decide say won't go into military tomorrow or police or whatever. The girl will prepare in mind. So that tomorrow, if paraventure something they happen to you, you go know how to get your own evidence. As they get those evidence, send it outside the system so that nobody will fit temper without your evidence. That is my take on it. So Nigerians will really, really need to calm down. Eh? But not calm down, our body to the heart. Some my country people, I'm going to drop it here. That is all I have for now. And I will bring you more updates concerning this. Thank you all for stopping by. And please don't forget to drop your comment with us in the comment section. I will really want to know your take concerning this. And also please help us to share, like, and also subscribe to our channel if you have not. Thank you and bye-bye for now.